Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video. Guys, we finally got the two-in-one hand truck. And so that's what this video will mostly be about. But as you can see, we've got many of the tough built products. And we're gonna try these in a couple of configurations to see if we have any difficulty. We, we don't wanna find difficulty, but if we do, we wanna make sure you're aware. And by the way, we did set up. This does not come assembled. So we assembled it. We're gonna have a setup portion towards the end of the video. So if you buy this, you can probably use that video to help you put it together because it can be tricky, so you wanna be careful. All right, but we learned a lot. Very, very cool product. I'll be honest, initial impression, pretty solid. So why don't we go ahead and get this party started? Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. This is what we're covering in the video. We're going to do a super quick unboxing. We're going to show you what's included. We're going to do a close look at the hand truck as well as in the four-wheel mode. We're going to set up in a few configurations with boxes and accessories in different positions. You know, we're going to want to see that. We're going to do a detailed assembly step-by-step. -step. We'll put that towards the end of the video for people that may be buying one of these and want to know how to set it up. And uh, yeah, we're going to even show you what boxes didn't fit what difficulties we might have had. So make sure you stay tuned and uh, let's get started. To make it easier for you, here are the timestamps and we're gonna put these in the video description too. So you can move around if you want to since this is almost an hour video, it's a lot of detail. And don't forget, towards the end, we'll have a detailed step-by-step -step assembly. If you pick one of these up and you just wanna see how to put it together. Now we're going to go ahead and get this unboxed very quickly for you. We're not going to waste your time showing you how we cut open a box, but I am going to cut the box open with the tough built. This is the five in one. All right. This thing's got a bunch of stuff on it. We did a review. I'll put an image up in the upper right hand corner. All right. So you can see what that looks like. I'll put the link in the video description. If you want to check it out, click that link. All right, but um, we're going to unbox this right now. You ready? Well, there it goes. Everything out of the box. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to assemble it. But as you can see, it does have a bunch of uh, parts that have to be assembled. So and check out these wheels, huh? Flat free. And they do state, so make sure you know it's not for highway use. You can't run on the highway or walk on the highway with these. <laughs> All right, that's the size of the tire there. But uh, again, <laughs> not for highway use. That's, uh, that's pretty funny. All right, instructions are right here. And the bar, I don't know what that bar is for. But yeah, we're going to assemble this and see how long it takes. All right, here it is. And again, we are gonna spend time looking at the cracks and the crevices, you know? It's one of the things our channel's known for is to try to be as detailed as possible. So this is it in hand truck mode. And as you can see, you've got, I believe these are the 10 inch tires. They're flat free, puncture, resistant, I believe, or whatnot. I don't think you can get these punctured, to be honest with you. And there they are held in with a pin. Again, our setup video is towards the end if you want to see how we set this up and how many pieces you get. The casters, there's the casters. All right. And uh, it's some thick rubber. These are definitely some really thick rubber. I don't think these will mark up the floors. Um, I don't know about these. I'll get some information on these, but uh, these are 
definitely really thick. There's no air in them. There is a little uh, give as you push in and out. Here's the plate. Pretty strong plate. As you can see, the bolts, you know, we put these in. Some nice thick bolts. And you've got all the plastic, obviously, to hold. You know, the top part is plastic. So it snaps right in, right? Now, one thing that got me was they said only lock StackTech toolboxes in a four-wheel cart position. I'm wondering if you can do it on a two-wheel, you know, like this. That'd be interesting, all right? Um, so anyway, yeah, it's a good look. This is aluminum. There's a lot of aluminum that they use. This is plastic. This is aluminum. And so far, just a close look, it looks like it's really made well the handle screwed on the handle get a nice aluminum handle i don't know that this is aluminum i mean this, this might be steel <laughs> but the sticker on here all right i'll look back here this is the release when you want to throw it in the four wheel position i'll show you that in a minute nice thick bar here Again, just some screws. Just sh trying to show you close-up position. Try to get a little bit better light. There's some welds you can see. Now, I'm not a well weld professional, so I don't know. People were asking, what, "How are the welds? Are they quality welds?" Well, you guys will be the judge on that. Looks like one there, another one in that corner there. Okay, um, but uh, yeah, assembly, here are the pins that we had to put in during assembly. This is a steel bar. So that would be the best close look we could give you on the cart. Now to drop this into the four wheel position, um, you can step on this. It's going to loosen the thing that holds that part there. You're going to lift this up. And then this slides down into place. That's all. A, I don't hear a lock, but it is pretty stiff as it's in place. Again, let me kind of show you there. So, just a good look now at the different areas and screws and stuff. All right? Those are the ones we had to put in. Well, you can see how it basically goes through when we put it together. Same thing here. All right, now I will show you something because most of you guys want to know. So obviously this is one of many, but it looks like, like a crack right there. You can see, interesting. But underneath this hole, that looks like a crack. Okay, so. We just got this. We just put this together. We didn't even use it yet. But uh, really nice. Now it's a matter of putting some boxes on it just to kind of see what it looks like and is there any restrictions. All right, before we go into close-ups and put some of the Stack Tech boxes on, let's talk a little bit about some information. So the model number on this I'll put on the screen is TB dash B1 dash T dash 20 Lowe's item number that's going to be helpful is uh, 526-6197 MSRP on this is $269 now in the four wheel position this can support 800 pounds when you have it in the hand truck position it can support 400 pounds 
The big wheels here are 10 inch puncture proof and flat free wheels. All right. So those, uh, that's pretty nice. The uh, swivel casters are four inch swivel casters and they do have a lock on them as well. So you can lock these, but makes it real easy to move around. The toe plate is uh, cast aluminum. The frame is aluminum, you know, basically for lightness and durability. Uh, the dimensions, I'm going to put the dimensions up on the screen right now. All right. And hit pause if you want to review that. And the weight on this is 46 pounds or 20.8 kilogram. And the warranty is a limited lifetime warranty. Now let's go ahead and take a close look at this. Now to get this back into a hand truck mode, you're going to grab this down here and you're just going to pull up, right? Pull up. And when you do that, it's just going to slide, as you can see. It's just going to slide. And what you're going to do now is you're going to lift the hand truck at the same time. And basically, you just want to make sure it's locked in here. All right. So, and um, basically it needs to be pulled down and locked into place. And you'll see here, it is now being held in place by metal right there. And the same here. So you know it's in the locked position. And of course, that is your release right there. All right, so there's your secondary bar. And this is just a sliding system. And now you've got your hand truck back, you know. Just a reminder, don't forget, we're going to be showing you some challenges we had on some boxes that didn't fit, so stay tuned. So what can we put on this? And I'm going to try different configurations. I'm going to start off with a three-draw. So let me put a three-draw on this. And I'll tell you now, this is one of the heaviest boxes, the three-draw. Okay, it clicked in my first time. All right. Now, question, do they open? Yeah, yeah, they don't. Plenty of room here. So the drawers open. Okay. Other than some literature. So the drawers open with no problem. They click lock into place, which is nice. So that's nice. Um, what else can I put in here? What about... A toolbox. I'll put a, I'll put a half toolbox. Or this is a large toolbox. So let's put the large. Okay, no problem. That's a large. Again, no issues with access. Right. I can open this up. I can get at everything. No issues. It stays open. That's nice. Okay. Um, what about? What about the rolling? Let's put the rolling box on here. Well, this is the big boy. So let's see, does that fit with the wheels? Interesting. Wait a minute now. Does it fit with the wheels? Okay. So the rolling box doesn't fit on this thing. Interesting. I'm going to try something later on. But for now, yeah, there's no way to get that in there. All right, what about a large toolbox? I've got it, you know, same. It just doesn't roll. This is a larging, this is a extra large, by the way. This is the largest box they make. Okay, locked in place. No issues. You see the lock just moves over. Um... What else? What about a crate? I've got a crate. I can put on a crate. Okay, now why is that not going all the way to the left side? It's locked. Okay. That's interesting. Live. 
and uh, kind of stuck. Isn't that interesting. Okay. Ah. Okay. Hold on. So what? So here's the thing that's supposed to activate the lock. Uh, interesting. So something's up with this box here because it's on flat. I mean, you just drop it in, and this maybe this is defective because if you push this in, and that's what it is. You see this? Something's wrong here. This pin is like broken or something. So I might have bought a defective one because you could see it's not locking. All right, well, I'm already going to exchange one. Okay, so you can't do that. What about organizers? Let me get a couple, a couple of organizers. Now I've got the large organizer. So this is a nice piece. It's a good value. I think it's like 69 bucks. So locks right in place, no issues. All right. And uh, what else? I know I've got I've got this tote. By the way, this is nice. This is a deep tote. So I'm gonna put this up here. Locks in place. That's nice. Now. I, you know what I do have? I've got I've got the work surface over here. I think that it'd be kind of cool if you need a work surface. You know, now it's high enough, so if you need an actual flat work surface with measurements in centimeters and inches, it's kind of nice. So you got that. Um, the crate didn't work. I do have a half toolbox. So again, I can put that here. Find a bag. Okay. There it goes. That fit. The bag was in the way a little bit, but that fit. So look at that. That's nice. Let me try something else. All right, just trying some different stuff. All right, now let's try the big toolbox here on this corner. All right, locked in place, no issues. Uh, the three drawer, I'll put the three drawer. This is a heavy boy. On this side, locked in place. Again, no issues, opening. The drawer stays open. I mean, the lid stays open, that's good. Drawers, of course, have no issues opening on this side at all. So, no issues whatsoever. Plenty of room. Tight, tight, right? Um, let's put an organizer on here. I love the handles, too, man. I'll tell you. Put another organizer on this side. Well, I want to do, I want to try something different. Take these, oh, and put this on here. All right, some trouble. Oh, okay. So you don't have enough clearance because of the handle. You could put it here. And you can put it there, so you can have two, but you can't have one next to each other. Clearance. Okay. Now, I do have a half toolbox. That'll probably go on that corner because it doesn't have a, sticking, a handle that's sticking out. Okay, not a problem whatsoever. I can take my big bag of tools that I want on top so I can reach in. Let's see. Will it fit? Yeah, it fits. Well, look at that. That's not bad. I mean, a couple of configurations. So, obviously, that bad boy there 
doesn't fit. All right, so we know that. This is nice. You need a work uh, area. And then when you need to take this out, just push these in. See this? You push both in and this lifts up. All right, I'll do that real quick. Lock the camera. So push in, lift up to remove, no problem. But nice, nice, uh, again, centimeters, inches, so pretty cool. Um, not bad, not bad. I gotta get that replaced because the plastic piece is missing. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. On the bottom of all of these is a plastic piece. You see this right here? And when you hit it, that locks. See that? So now the plastic piece isn't there. All right, limited lifetime warranty. So unlock. Plastic piece comes there. You see these guys kind of pull out. Push this in, and these two will pop out. You'll see these two pop out. But if I put my finger right here, see how this pops out? And this popped out. And it's the front mechanism. The back has some pieces, but these are the ones that actually lock. So that piece there is actually broken on here. You know, hey, it's going to happen. You can see there. It's gone. It's gone. So it's, uh, it's like broken inside or jammed inside. Oh, well. You see, I was going to do it this way. I said, all right, it didn't fit on the bottom. Would it fit on top? But it just doesn't have a locking mechanism. All right, so there's a reason why the rolling tube box doesn't lock into place. Now, it's made to lock into place um, on that piece that you can put on a truck. I forgot the name. I'll put an image up on the screen real quick. So it's made to lock into that. But if you look at the bottom of let's say this is a this is a large toolbox actually is it an organizer yeah it's a large toolbox but you'll see here that it's got the opening it's got the clips right there right but guess what in the front of the locking toolbox you don't have that so this is made to be a bottom piece now it's got this slot here there's nothing in it it's sealed slot so Again, this is made to lock, which is interesting, on that piece for, like, your truck that I showed you a moment ago. I don't know how it locks, though. That Oh, it straps down, I believe, if I saw that in the video. So anyway, that's the reason why you can't lock the rolling toolbox on this. One of the questions Steve got from one of the chat rooms on Facebook was, could you put all of these guys on the hand truck itself and uh, obviously there's no tools in these but how stable would these boxes be on the hand truck itself you know the one thing that they didn't do with this hand truck which they should have done was put a plate down there on the bottom where the tough built could lock into place you know this basically this is it if they put this plate on the bottom there in steel um, that would have been nice you know because then you can just click the stack tech into place now don't get me wrong I mean obviously the higher you go you know the more of a challenge but we're gonna go ahead and just start throwing this stuff up on there and then seeing if we can just kind of move it around without any major issue again th there's nothing in these boxes okay all right I'm gonna start off putting the big box on the bottom all right, let's take this and just put it in the center there. All right, so that's there. Um, I'll take the large toolbox, lock that in place, take the organizer, lock that in place, and uh, let me see. Let me take these two, I'll spread. I'll spread them out. So, right. and then we'll take the bag. The 
bag does make uh, anything that you put next to it a little bit difficult to put on because of the side pouches. But, let's see. All right, so everything's locked into place. And, uh, you know, I've got the camera on wide angle. So ultimately, I think you just want to hold on to something pull back and kind of looks like yeah I mean it's going to be heavier with tools in it but the big 10 inch wheels do the job and uh, you can definitely move this around I'm doing one hand for now so uh, yeah once the weights kick back now the other thing you can do too if you're looking to use it this way because it's okay to use this way is you can probably get some tie straps and uh you know wrap them around you know so i'm gonna see if i can get some straps here are some bungee straps that i bought made a little better than your normal bungee strap comes in different sizes but uh i'm just gonna try maybe the two yellow ones they look long enough so i got uh two bungee straps wrapped around I took this one and put it through the handle, went around, and then I've got this one through this handle, pretty much, and uh, one of them I just connected, it was long enough, you could see there, just connected, um, and in the back here, as far as tie-down points, there aren't many, so I used the bars back here lower, but when you go up, you don't really have too many tie-down points, you know, unless you want to use this bar, so... There you go. Another question uh, people had on the chat rooms that Steve sent over to me was, can you still put accessories on the rails, you know, on the corners? Now, what you probably want to do is they make um, the bars that you can buy. I'll put it up on the screen. But they do make a bar that connects from here to here. And you can put paper towels on, or you can put, uh, you know, cords. Like if you if you do a lot of wiring, you can do electrical wiring on it. So I'll pop that up real quick so you can see what that looks like. All right. But as you can see here, you know, you've got some clearance, you know, over here. Just showing you you know that you do have some room depending on what you're putting I mean pouches probably won't fit on there but then again you can put that rail and the pouches can snap on to the side um, you know here as you can see the rails are going to be blocked because they're side by side so you're not going to be able to use those and uh, the ones here all the way in the corner and you can see I'm moving this around with one hand again it doesn't have tools in it but you can you can put some stuff on here um, you know the other side as well so it just depends on what your setup is i love the tote because it allows you to put a ton of tools uh, that you can easily access which is nice but this is the back of the unit so again here are your rails and uh just to kind of give you an idea on your access but again you can put one of those bars right here to put some accessories on all right, so we got a couple of accessories because some of you wanted to know, you know, could this fit accessories when you have all this stuff on, you know, this uh, cart here, right? So we're going to start off with the first accessory, and that is the Stack Tech bar right there. All right, now that is made so that you can attach Clip Tech pouches and Stack Tech bins. Now I don't have any bins, but I do have a pouch. Um, with the hub all right and uh, let's check that one out first again there it goes right there so where will I put that let's figure that out all right now we're going to use an electrician's pouch and this specific pouch actually comes with a hub this hub is used so obviously it clicks on and that's what you're going to put on that bar there all right so that's what goes on the stack tech bar and easy release you know obviously don't worry that's going to be on there but this is the electrician oh, pouch so 
basically what you do is you, you, you know, you need these. They don't come with this stack tech bar, but let's say we put it here and we just lock it closed. That's it. All right. Open, close. So it's on there. All right. Now we're going to take this and we're going to put it on the cart. And you're going to see that there's limited areas you can put this because, you know, when you have this many toolboxes, you know, you only have maybe two places to put this. So let me show you that. Now the stack tech bar is made for the sides of the boxes, not the fronts or the backs. So, and, and we, not only that, we don't have much room here. So this is made to fit right here on the sides of the boxes, not on the fronts, I should say, you know? So if we wanted to put it in here, we just push that in, lock these two, right? And I'll show you the bag drops right in. And you can see here now, you got your electrician's pouch and it just kind of, it sits right there. That's it, it's locked in place. It won't come off, you know? It won't come off. But if you press this yellow clip, and pull up, you know, grab it, take it with you, you know, you got all your, the tools that you might want in this specific pouch. When you're done, just lay it right there. So, you know, nice locks right in place on the sides, you know, pretty durable, you know, especially with the locks, right? And then to unlock it, you pull it out and it still won't fall out but we're gonna leave it locked. So there you go, that's the stack tech bar. And again, it'll fit here, and it'll actually fit back here, right? You can still use this side, because it's open. So you can still use this side for, you know, that kind of stuff, right? Think about it too, they've got that roll, you know, there's a bar that holds rolls, right? For paper or electrician wire, you know? I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can see what that looks like. All right, but that'll fit here or on the other side. All right, I moved some things around, so I put the electrician's pouch down there. All right, but the reason why I did that is because, hey, you're pushing this. You got to go a little further and you want to get a sip of cup of coffee. Well, where are you going to put a cup on this? So I moved this up here, right? A compact toolbox. And here it is, a 20 ounce tumbler. Now, basically, this is simple, right? You want this right in front of you. So we're going to take this. We're going to go like that. Actually, we just put it in up and it locks into place. That's it. It's there. Now, when I want to take this out, I just push this up and it releases. So that's it. This mechanism here. All right. So again, up, locked in place. Now, the cup, right? You take this cup. Put it inside and turn it. The cup won't move. All right, the cup's locked in place. Now, if you leave it like that, it'll bang around, but that is in place now. You can push your cart full of tools, grab this, have your cup of coffee. So that's your 20 ounce tumbler, and there's a way you can have it on the cart. So here is our long tool holder. You can put a shovel in this thing. You can put a sledgehammer in this thing. And what'll happen is this holds the bottom. This allows it to come through, right? You can even use, you can even put this level in, right? This is the 24 inch magnetic lit box level. Really nice pieces. <laughs> it really lights up. This is actually the, the light. You really can't see it right now. Maybe you can. All right, so nice piece, um, 24 inch. And um, now here's the challenge though. There's really no place for this on the card. There's no place. I mean, unless you had a half stack, that's a different story. But when you have two stacks, you don't have anywhere to put this, right? Because you need, you know, one and, and another. So I don't have it here. I can't put it in the middle, right? I can't put it here, it won't fit here, right? You see how the, you know, it just won't fit in these spots. Obviously, it can fit here, but that's going to be for maybe a small level, right? So, let me uh, put this in for a second. And we'll see if we can get this to work for the small level. I got a small level. I'll pull it out. 
All right, I'll be right back. Here it is, 9 to 15 inches, right? This is the one that's extendable, right? They call it the torpedo, extending torpedo. And yeah, I could put this in here. <laughs> I mean, it's a waste. But this can hold shovels, it can sledgehammers. It's, it's really durable. That's what they show in the packaging. So that's that. We were able to do it. I don't know. <laughs> I really wanted to put that one on, right? That's a 24-inch. And uh, the next one's going to be, maybe we want to put some cord on here, right? So here we have, you know, this is for cord, all right? This is called a cord wrap, all right? So let's put this on. And again, all we're going to do is push it in like that. Again, this is the release mechanism. That's the right side. That one's the left side. So just put it from the top. It locks in place. Now you can put a cord on there. I'll show you that real quick. So there it goes. We got the cord wrap. And if you need to take off the cord, basically you push these buttons in and you turn these inside and they allow you to release the cord. So that's nice to have for a cord, right? We've got our 20 ounce tumbler that locks in place. Right, that's pretty nice. We got our long tool holder. Right now, you know, <laughs> holding on to a small tool, our electrician pouch, right? And the stack tech bar, you know, you can put a couple of bags here, and you know, tool bags and things like that that you need, which is nice. So, you know, kind of an idea on what can I put on here, you know, and uh, I hope this was helpful. We got the setup inside. We're going to go ahead and start to put this together. Step number one, this bar came in a box with some instructions. These pins were not inside. I'm going to talk about them in a minute, but this bar came in a box with instructions. What you're going to do is you are going to take these two pins that you get with your installation stuff. And as you can see, these pins were knocked in with a hammer. Now, let me tell you, the bottom part of the pin is a little bit more shaved. That's what you want to use. Obviously, you're going to put it here and you're going to knock it in with a hammer. But I just wanted to show you, this is one side of the pin. I'll show you the other side. It is open and what happens is it does close as you bang it in. It does take some force, so just be aware. But that's step number one. Step number two, go ahead and lay your frame down like this. Make sure it's towards you. All right, but you want the frame laying down just like this. And you're going to have this towards you. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking this plate. Now I'm going to turn it around for a minute. As you can see here, there's a section here and a section here with screws. What we want to do is we want to get those sections in between. So you're going to just use a little bit of force. You're going to lay this down like this. All right. You're going to put one corner in. And then with your hands, you're just going to pull the frame to allow you to put the second one in. Slide it both that way. Okay. One more step coming up. All right. Now you're going to, while it's inside, you're going to take it and you're just going to turn it a little bit, all right? Like it's in a hand truck mode, all right? Now, we're going to now push this in here, and we're going to push this in here, all right? So watch that, okay? As you can see, this is now flush, and this is now flush. And now, what you need to do is you've got two plates. You've got this one and you've got this one. Now remember we banged those pins. Remember those pins? We were wondering why we need them. Well there's a reason why because when in our next step we're going to push these in and they're going to stay in that slot there. You see that slot? So that's the reason why. So we're going to start off connecting this over here. Don't put both on. 
because then you won't be able to get this in. So we're going to go ahead and tighten this up now. Now, this is the left side of the hand truck. So you want to make sure that you're choosing the right plate for each side. So on this side, just make sure it's facing that way. And then on this side, it'll go this way. But you're not going to do this one yet. All right, so that's the angle you want. Now the correct screws, let me show you that real quick. So you've got a thicker screw and you've got a thinner screw. This is the screw you want to use. You have four of these. You're going to use all four, two on each side. All right, and you're going to be using these big nuts. All right, these are going to go in from the outside. So I'm just going to push this in. And because we're in a weird angle, you might need to uh, just kind of move the, you know, lift this up a little bit for the screw to go all the way in. See, now it's on the other side. And I'll just put this on just for a moment so it's grabbing. I'm going to take my next one. Now, if it doesn't go in all the way, again, just lift up. All right. And put my second one on. And this is, by the way, in this section here, looks like a tighter spot right here. I'll see if I can get more light on this, by the way. Let me see if I can get more light. The magic of light. But there you go. So you see, this spot is a little bit weird for this nut. So that'll be fun. But give me a minute. I'm going to tighten these two, and I'll tell you how it went. All right, I got the nut in. I'm going to be holding it with this, and I'm going to be using my drill. Why not? I picked up this set on Amazon. These are magnetic. Uh, very, very helpful, as you can see. It gives you uh, a bunch of different sizes, too, to choose from. But they're magnetic, so when I throw this in here, it just kind of holds on to it. It won't let go, which is good. So the two are in. All I'm going to do now is tighten these up. And then we'll move on to that side. Okay. Next up, you've got three screws like this. You only need two. It actually goes right in here on each side. So the plastic into the metal. All right. And uh, we're going to use our little DeWalt. It's magnetic which is cool. We'll put a link in the description. It's kind of cool. comes with a little set, but we'll tap that in there, and we'll be back. All right, so we put the bar in place. We put this piece on. We screwed it, right? So as you can see, the pins are in the slot, basically. It's kind of what these are for. They're right here in this slot. And, uh, yeah, let's move on. Now it's time to put on the back wheels. And you just need, for each side, two washers and this little rinky-dinky pin. I would have thought this would be a little thicker or something. But let's do that. Start with wheel one. We put a washer right here. So you've got one washer. You take your wheel uh, this way, by the way, and you put it in. Now we're going to turn this while I'm scratching my wooden floors. You take another washer, and then you just got to get this pin through the hole over here. And that's what we'll hold the wheel on. So we take the pin, we push it through, then you grab some pliers or whatnot, and you're just going to spread these, and that's how it locks in place. So let me start off with this one. Again, it's so fun to do things with camera on. Well, it should be good. Maybe not perfect, but 
wheel won't come off now because the pin can't come out. Before I put these on on the other side, you know, these are, uh, again, they're flat free, you puncture free, you know, they've got a pattern. I don't know if this makes marks on the floors. There's a, there's a name for that, but um, not bad. You know, I mean, you could, they definitely have some flex in them. I guess that's, uh, that's going to help the weight and stuff. Wheel number two is on. There you go. All right, step number five is already done by the manufacturer. In, in my case, as you can see here, it says you got to put these two screws through here, and that's your release, which is here. So that's already got two screws in it. So we're good with that. Next step is putting the casters on. So what we need to do is just release, and you'll be using this when you put it in four wheel. But the camera is going to be a little bouncy. So we push this in, and what we're going to do now is pull this out. All right, we just want to pull this out because the casters screw in to here. You'll see that in a moment. Time to put the wheels on. So I've already put this one on. I'm going to go ahead and put this one on. 17 millimeter I found worked the best. So, and uh, when you put this down, you can use this to tighten, you know, when you're putting it in. And then after that, you definitely need one of these guys to uh, finish the job. All right, not too bad. Quick side note, we forgot to put these on when we put the casters on, you know, the small wheels. So we're going to take the wheels off and put these on now. But I just wanted to let you know we forgot to show you that. Coming to the final stretch. So you do need to put the handle in. Keep in mind, though, it does take a little bit of pushing, you know, obviously to get this in evenly. So that's, you know, just be aware. And, uh, you know, you're going to put it in the right way so that the black tube shows over here. And, of course, you're, you can see your holes so you can get your screws in. So let's get the screws in. Now we put these in. See how it has a hole? So that one's already on. We're going to put this in. And then all we got to do is put the screws in. Now you just put these screws in. These are the smaller ones. So you put them in this way. And then you're going to put the bolts on the outside. All right, just hold it from one side. Screw it from the other. And just do that for all the uh, screws. So, what do you think? I mean, really nice. And and by the way, hard to do on camera, but this thing maneuvers very nicely. It rolls on its own. You can lock the front, but very easy to move around whatsoever to steer very easy to steer as well because of these front casters and then the two back wheels so i like that honestly i wanted to review this so i bought it i know i'll use the hand truck i know guys in construction will probably use this setup i won't but as a channel i decided to invest and buy this stuff on my own dime and I'm getting this is almost every piece that's available um, there's one or two I'm missing the, the single drawer I'm missing that they make a large organizer but that is nowhere to be found although it's supposed to be out and available and there's one more item but you could see here large you know obviously your work surface your large toolbox your large organizer, your three draw system, your large box. Now this is the same as that, just so you'll know measurement wise inside and out. So you can fit the same stuff in here. 
Um, I could swear I was looking at the measurements, so you got a lot of good room in this big XL box. Then I got the two small organizers, right? And I remember before it didn't fit here. You saw I showed you. This is the compact toolbox. This is the tote, which is really nice to have access to your tools. So this is what I'll be using to get access to my tools when I need to. I'm going to go ahead and try to get a couple of these on hand truck mode in a second and just see what that looks like. You're not supposed to do it, but I just want to show you. So let me show you that real quick. Now, one thing they tell you not to do, okay, and I'm just going to show it to you, but I don't, you know, obviously don't think it's made to support it with weight. Right now, these toolboxes don't have anything in them, right? I mean, I've got the half, that's called the compact. I've got the large toolbox. I've got the extra large toolbox, right? I've got two organizers on this thing, and then I've got the large organizers and a three drawer. Okay, so <laughs> you can see here, I mean, that's a lot of stuff, but it, it isn't made in this position. You're not supposed to, just so you'll know. It actually says it on the hand truck. I just thought I'd do it and show you. All right, so I want to give you some feedback after using this for about a week. Every day when I came home, I pretty much put boxes on it. I moved it around. I tried different configurations. Um, I'll tell you, I'm not a construction guy. You know, I'm not going to take this on site. I pretty much bought this out of my own pocket to do the review. You know, that's what we do. Most of the reviews we do are not sponsored. So we didn't get a sponsorship for this. But we feel like it's really, really solid at the end of the day. For $269, I feel it's worth it. I really do. Um, I will say a couple of things. So I don't know if it's possible, but if it is, don't break these off. I'm not saying you're going to do it on purpose, but... You know, if these break off, you now have a regular hand truck, not a stack tech hand truck. So just be careful. I don't know if these are steel. It's, it's hard to tell. They almost feel like they're plastic, but it could be aluminum coated. It's, it's hard to tell. I'm going to be honest with you. It's really hard to tell. Now, one of the harder things was putting these pins in for some people. Now, for me, I'm strong enough. I'm tech made easy. So <laughs> I can put these in. I had to bang these in with a hammer and you can see the setup video. Just to rewind a little bit and you'll see the setup portion of the video. So just be careful, you got two of these that bang in and, and let me tell you, it's not easy initially, but we're strong enough because we're tech made easy. <laughs> um, the wheels, really nice, 10 inch, flat free, you know, puncture resistant, you know, they, there's no air in them, it's just really thick, they do have some flexibility, which I, I guess will take some of the pounding, um, there's no shock absorbers on this thing, by the way. <laughs> Uh, the wheels, the front casters are really nice, a nice thick rubber. I don't think they'll mark the floors. I just wasn't able to test that. And also, when you put the casters on, be careful, go slow, turn them in slowly. If, you know, you might, you can actually put these in slightly on an angle and strip the screw. We almost did, so be careful. This pole here, the way this thing goes from two wheel to one um, to four wheel is a really nice system. It's really strong. The handle is, is obviously aluminum, really nice. So nothing bad to say, guys. Really nice, worth $269. All right, guys. Well, I sure hope you found our video helpful. I really do. And if you did, do me a favor, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We greatly appreciate that. It really helps us. And by the way, if you want to follow us on social media, we'll put the social media channels right up top. We have a Tesla channel, by the way. It's one years old. We have about 17,000 miles on it now. And we're doing some accessory reviews, but we're going to start to go over what it is to go from a gas car to a Tesla. So look us up, okay? By the way, we'll put some videos on the right side of the screen. And if you want to subscribe to us, we'll go ahead and put a round logo right there, a Tech Made Easy logo. Click on that. Join the family. Subscribe. Guys, thanks so much. Have a wonderful day.